Black here from Castle Black Gaming where I get right to the point with all of my guides so you can get back out into the verse. Today I wanted to go over a larger fighter and one that I was looking forward to getting and that is the Aegis Vanguard Sentinel. I won't be going over the differences in the Vanguard ships as the build outs can vary a little and I wanted to give them each their own video. This ship is a large ship killer and will make your PvE bounty so much more smoother after you get the hang of this ship. Is it still viable after the arrival of the Scorpius? Well, we don't need to worry about that in PvE bounties but I would say that this ship is still very much one of the best of its class. Please make sure you subscribe and like my videos as well and if you want to come out and discuss the game with me directly, I'm active on Discord and have started streaming on Twitch Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays so come watch me live and let's talk about the game and we can even meet up for some multiplayer fun. Alright so with the announcements out of the way, let's get to it. As always, I will go over the systems first and the weapons last and I include graphics on the screen that you can pause the video and keep the overlays on the screen so you can easily see the locations, price, and quantity as an easy reference for you. Alright, so for the shields, I went with the FR-76s, which is the standard go-to size 2 shields, and I got mine from Crew L1. Now for the power plant, I tossed on the JS-400s, which you can find at Her L2 and other places listed, but remember that the power plant and coolers are very minor incremental changes, and in most cases you will see little to no difference, so consider these components optional for now until the ship components get a revamp. But if you insist on getting what would be considered the best right now, the coolers I would go with are the avalanches found at Crew L4. The quantum drive I chose is the XL1, which happens to be the best in its class, so not much in the way of options here and you can find this drive at Port Tressler. Alright so let's move on to the weapons now. I went with a build I found on reddit and I have to say that I enjoyed it but I do plan on messing around a bit more and trying out some laser repeaters but for now these weapons are what I am recommending. For the size 5 I went with the Omniski 15 laser cannon found at her L3. It's, it's just so strong and will completely give you the whoa factor. Now as for the size 2 guns I went with 4 of the MVS say laser cannons found at Cousin Crows making this a complete laser cannon build which works good on the bounty missions. For the man turret you can just slap on two of the CF227 badgers which you can find at Crew L5. Your gunner might not have the biggest guns but they should be able to steal some kills from you with the faster firing rate while you're waiting for those laser cannons to reload. Alright so moving on to the missiles I'm using four of the MSD442 racks to keep the size 2 dominator electromagnetic missiles since Electra mags are still hot until we see some changes because these little bad boys just don't want to miss their target as often as the others. Alright so with the missiles taken care of that's going to do it for this loadout of the Sentinel. It's pretty easy actually. He just makes some great fighters and the Vanguard class of ships are no slouches. Let me know how those laser cannons are treating you and if you're using something else. I'd love to hear from some of you out there so I can see where I want to go next with my own build. Remember to be kind to your fellow gamer, don't call the kettle black, and stay positive citizens.